Veterans who come back from combat face many challenges with mental health and substance abuse. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley joins us live in the studio. And Stephen, there's help for people in the Valley who are looking for it. That's right, Chris. Transitioning back to civilian life isn't an easy task for veterans. In fact, many have seen themselves get caught up on the wrong side of the law. But one Cameron County program offers troubled vets a chance at recovery. Rejoining society after combat can be a challenging time for veterans. At one point, I hit rock bottom. Some veterans even find themselves in trouble with the law. A study done by the Bureau of Justice shows that from 2011 to 2012, for every 100,000 veterans in the United States, 855 were incarcerated. Cameron County District Attorney Louise Sign says the transition from military to civilian life is no easy feat. Uh, and sometimes our government fails these veterans because they merely transport them back here and they tell them, okay, you're not a veteran anymore, uh, go back to your normal life. But for veterans living in Cameron County, there is help. It's the Cameron County Veterans Treatment Court. In its fifth year, the program allows veterans another chance after they committed a crime. They have to meet with counselors and professionals and be team members at any time if they don't comply with the program, you know, they get kicked out of the program. Dominic Rangel served 14 years in the United States Army. He can attest to how difficult the transition can be. You know, get past what they're going through because I've already been through it. Rangel stays in communication with veterans going through treatment court to make sure they follow through with the program. They're in a situation that's bad. They can give me a call at 24-7. I'm here for them. If they successfully complete the program, veterans can have the opportunity of a clean slate. If they complete the program, I dismiss the charges on their case. The only difference is now is that I will be prepared on how to cope and deal with life stressors more effectively. The last week, eight people graduated from the Veterans Treatment Court. District Attorney Sign says those people were given the tools to re-enlist in society. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.